From a distance, the Olympic Park looks ready for its moment in the sun. According to the Rio 2016 organizers, this picture is 95% complete. But look a little closer, and there's a blot on the landscape. The Olympic Velodrome was due to be finished by the end of last year, but there's a gaping hole in those plans. And with work so far behind, the postponed test event has now been cancelled completely. These gates are staying closed for now. It's not ideal. It's been the test event was moved back and then it's been moved to an international training week, which is not ideal for everybody. I think, if I was being really honest with you, I don't think British Cycling were going to send any athletes to the test event anyway, but clearly they wanted to come out, see the back of house, make sure everything was in place for them to perform at their best when they're here. And yet, despite the need to make up for lost time, this building site looks remarkably quiet. On the three occasions we visited in the past eight months of delays, there has been little sign of activity, not much in the way of progress. Of course, what really matters is what's happening inside the velodrome. We haven't been allowed access, but we do know that just 10 days ago it was an empty concrete shell. The organisers assure us they have now started to lay the wood for the track and that there will be enough time for that to bed in. But time is the very thing they're running out of. No signs, though, of panic just yet. We never go to a Games where all the arenas are perfect and have great test events. Whether it's winter or summer games, there'll be some problems and the host committee have recognised that. I think what we do is we plan very early. We know there's some challenges here. Hopefully, in some ways, that's opportunity for us. We have a good relationship with the host organising committee. We work very closely with the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. They have a lot of knowledge on the ground here as well. So hopefully we can mitigate against some of these things. While not everything is flowing smoothly, most of the venues are complete and the setting, at least, is sure to be stunning. For anything else, the organisers will be hoping to ride the wave of goodwill for South America's first Olympic Games, regardless of any downfalls. Orla Shinawi, Sky Sports, Rio de Janeiro.